Hi everybody and welcome back to Angie's Jungle House. Today I have the final tour of 2018 for you. Um, I am very sorry I've been away for a while. Um, I've been pretty busy with the house and other things and oh, maybe a little bit of a spoiler alert is what I've been busy with. Um, I had the spider mites and all that good stuff, so I'm going to give you a tour and show you what's left, what's new, and I hope you enjoy. I will meet you guys upstairs. First stop, welcome to the upstairs bathroom. Immediately to the right, above my sink, you'll see my Hartley philodendron, which this is the last time you're going to see it long for a while. It's growing down to the sink bowl. So it's time to cut her off and give her a good haircut, repot it, and let it start over a little bit. Behind that is my rattlesnake calathea, which as of late, it hasn't put off any new growth. It did great for several months, but now the days are getting quite short. They're almost at the shortest, so I imagine in the next few months I will be seeing more growth again. Off to the left, we see my spider plant that needs to be repotted terribly. Um, it is extremely pot-bound and cannot hold enough moisture. It's on my to-do list. I'm waiting for the new hanging basket to come in. Um, I had ordered another basket prior to, but because I'm slightly special, I ordered the same pot size it's in now. Moving down, we have my golden pothos, which is made of cuttings from my sister's plant. Now, for those of you who don't know, this was of a plant where there were about 8 foot, 10 foot, maybe even more worth of vines with no leaves, and the last... Two to three nodes did have leaves, so these are those. Here I have a philodendron up front. Um, this has been beat to heck. It also had thrip, um, so it's slowly recovering. I'm almost feeling like it doesn't get enough sunlight in here, so when I get my downstairs bathroom done, I do believe I will put it in there because that will be flooded with light. Here I have my mother-in-law's tongue, no complaints. It just, it's kind of stays in a pretty similar fashion. Back here is that Chinese evergreen that I saved, and it's just plugging out new growth all of the time. I have this here burnt leaf. This was touching the window and got sunburned. So, but other than that, this plant is doing absolutely phenomenal. Then, just outside of the bathroom, here are my, this is like my little begonia collection. Um, here I have um, a Rex begonia. It's very iridescent and purple and kind of like a minty green. It's absolutely gorgeous. I don't know the actual name of it other than just a Rex begonia. Here is my angel wing begonia, which is doing very well. Here's my nautilus rex begonia, which looks something like, and this is why my plants die. Um, has a nice little white flower. Uh, it's got some more coming, and then, which just hit the ground, which is pretty usual for the asparagus fern that's had spider mites really bad. She's doing great now. So I'm going to take you downstairs to the office and show you what's done. All right, folks, welcome to the office. So uh, to the left on top of the card catalog is my little Hartley philodendron that I made from propagations from the big boy upstairs. Next to that is the... Um, satin pothos, which I'd like to call it the silver philodendron because guess what? It grows just like a philodendron as far as vines go and 
leaf shape. I firmly believe this is more like a philodendron than a pothos. I'm sorry. But it's a great debate. As far as the height on this bad boy, length I should say. Hi, Binks. She's ignoring me. My card catalog is five feet, so that gives you an idea of how long it, how far down it trails. And then over here in front of my very extremely dirty but not broken window, which it's all fixed, I have my very dusty rubber plant and some propagations on here. I have an oxalis, a prayer plant, um, strawberries and cream hoya, a jade plant. And then I also have my staghorn fern, which is doing absolutely phenomenal. Moving on up is a new purchase from today. This bad boy was a lot longer, but very damaged. So I took off all the damage and left what was good. So I picked up this um, string of bananas at Home Depot today in this hanging pot. I'll get a new pot for, but... It's in, it's pretty large, so I think I've hit like 12 bucks for it or 11 bucks. Really good deal, really like it. It's gonna look phenomenal. Just gotta let her grow out some. And we are going to go into the bedroom. And we have a mischievous cat. Up here is one of my arrowheads, which is doing absolutely phenomenally. You can see there's lots of new growth coming up on it. It's probably about tripled or quadrupled in size since I got it. We have a Mika plant. Oh, Mika Marie. Yes. Uh, then we have my mass cane, which looks, um, I'd say, just about like it did when I bought it. I have an orchid cactus, which is putting on tons and tons of new growth. My umbrella plant, which I docked all of the leaves off of and gave it a hard restart. Um, it just, I don't know, I wasn't feeling it. And I don't know if I'm really feeling the Shiflera anymore. Um, unless it is the variegated Shiflera. Let me bring it out so you can see it a little bit better. Um, let's find a good example. See? This is doing really well. This was a really tiny plant when I got it. It's growing really big and it's very healthy. Down here we have my ponytail palm, which is just absolutely abused by my cats. So it kind of looks like crap all the time. I And that's kind of how everything that gets... Up on this ladder gets broken because the cats are trying to kill the ponytail palm. And sad story, this is what's left of Sideshow. I almost murdered him. So about a month and a half ago I purchased this wardrobe which is about seven and a half feet tall. And I may or may not have forgotten that Sideshow even existed. So that's what he looks like. It's very, very sad. He is nowhere near the specimen that he was, and I feel so bad that I forgot to water him. And I guess that's all that there is for the office and bedroom. I'm going to take you on into the living room, and I'll see you. Okay, folks, welcome to my living room. It's a little out of sorts right now um, because of the Christmas tree that I have in here. But this will give you the tour of who's all still alive after the spider mites. So my monstera deliciosa is doing very, very well. Um, it's endured some minor abuse. Um, we'll cover that here in a minute. My white bird of paradise is pushing out its second leaf. And this one is going to be a big one. Gigantic. My Marble Queen Pothos, which I got with a broken pot, or really no pot at all, um, for like four bucks. It's almost grown to the ground. Doesn't have far to go. So it's doing very well. 
I have a philodendron over here, which just keeps growing. It doesn't stop. I keep wrapping everything back up into the pot, and it comes out, and it's. And I give up. Got some macrame supplies, so that's fun. Up top is my Algerian ivy, which is doing fine. Um, I don't know. I don't love it. It's so sparse, and it pokes people in the eyes no matter where it's at. I'm thinking that I might have to get rid of this or something. I don't know. I'm really not in love with this plant anymore, and especially after I've gotten poked in the eye so many times. Um, it is a pretty sturdy plant. On to what's happened to some of my plants, Willie. Oh, oh, Wilbur. Wilbur. Willie. Hey. Pay attention, Willie. This is the newest mammal member. The mammal, not a plant. He's a mammal. Um, his name is Wilbur. Uh, this is also another reason I have been a little sparse on YouTube raising a puppy. Um, he's actually going to be just turning six months old pretty quick here. Ooh, I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, anybody who is worried, Chuck is still fine. Um, kicking. Obviously, she has it incredibly rough right now. I mean, look at her. Ah, this is a temporary uh, plant family member. Um, it's balsam fir. It's decorated. So, on to... Actually, I'm going to save this display for later. Down here, <clears throat> I have a golden variegated Schifflera down here. Um, doing very well. I'm growing it like a tree, but it's kind of buried in the back. And I know it's going to be hard to see. Um, we have my big English ivy here and my mint colberry ivy up top, which is doing well also. And moving back over, I have my starling ivy, which is always thick and dense and short. I have an Easter cactus, which was white and pink. It is now either white or pink. I, I don't know which side died, but uh, one plant died. The other one is still fine. And my standard green arrowhead, which is tall and in charge. My small monster Ansonii, it did have some growth on it, which I have propagated, so it looks pretty tiny at the moment. I have a Thanksgiving cactus, which all the blooms are spent. And I lied. The, the other part of that Easter cactus did not die. Um, it got busted up real bad, so I ended up transplanting everything it's time to get these into an actual pot and probably put them all back together um binks ended up knocking the pot over so that is what actually happened to that plant i have a purple oxalis i do believe i had this before it's still doing well it's growing it's awesome I just picked up this frosty fern today. Oh, this is so cute. So I'm pretty excited about this. Um, we'll see how it does. Here's my Florida Dracaena. Um, it's here. I moved it closer to light because it literally has not grown since I brought it home. Here is my Dracaena Wernicke, which is getting really, really tall. It's uh, probably a little over a foot now. Um, it's doing very well, and it loves where it's at. Here is my pink princess philodendron. I have a love-hate relationship with this thing. I think it's an absolutely beautiful plant, but it's really not very much pink at all. It's got some spots. It loses a lot of leaves. It's just not quite happy here, and I'm actually not terribly certain what I am doing wrong. 
Here is my fantasy fern. Um, doing moderately okay. Needs needs to be not in a terracotta pot. It's too dry. It dries out way too quick. So we'll move up top, and I will show you around here. Um, my variegated Bonnie spider plant is doing absolutely phenomenally. I took most of the babies off of it a few months ago. Got rid of them all. Um, which, it just grew more right in its place and looks almost no different than it did before. Here's a golden pothos, which gets a, gets a fair amount of light, but it's not very golden. And I think this is propagation... Because I know it's not a Swiss cheese vine, for starters. Um, it's here. I cut all of the growth off of it before, so nothing was hanging over the pot. Propagated it, and it hasn't done anything really since. It's just not incredibly happy in this window, and I can't figure it out. Everybody else is. Here is a giant Swiss cheese vine that I picked up the other day. Um, yes, there are yellowing leaves. It was incredibly pot bound. I mean, incredibly. The whole bottom inch, inch and a half of the pot was just all root. So I repotted it and I brought it up two sizes. So there she is. My German wax ivy, which has gotten incredibly thick growing up and around my big old stick and hangers. <clears throat> it's doing incredibly well. I'm going to repot that, which is a two-man job because it is a permanently hanging plant. So, And then on to my neon pothos. I just repotted this. It was incredibly pot bound. Add water. Water just ran straight out the bottom. So I had to water it daily. Uh, seems to be doing much better now. I haven't watered it in three to four days. Here is my variegated Bonnie spider plant baby. So that tells you how long I've had the babies off that plant that that one's that big. And then I have my... Ruby, my Peperomia Ruby Cascade, which is doing very, very well. It's up high, and it does not get bumped anymore, so it's starting to fill out again. And I also have a new addition to my display. And I added... And... On remote, I added rice lights. Um, they look uh, very large in the picture, but they have the candle motion and also just the... Oh, I can't get the other one. Oh, I guess you can kind of see a difference here. The left is the regular light and the right is the candle light. And you can also dim them way down and brighten them way up. So that's really fun. That's a permanent fixture in case you were wondering. I'm not going to be taking that down there on a fancy dancy remote because your girl's got a ton of money. Kids are just loving life. Not too much going on in the dining room. Got a very sad spider plant and a and a snake plant, and I water them both um, in identical intervals, which is why the the why the snake plant looks fine, and the um, spider plant looks a little sad. On to the kitchen, which off to the left. Oh, hey. I redid my whole kitchen while I kind of facelifted it. Um, painted my cabinetry, put up a range hood, painted the walls, redecorated some, put in new floor, um, new trim around the windows and such and doors. Uh, so anyhow, enough about that. Actually, I'll 
some light over here. All right. Oh, and I put up a new light. So on the left of the sink, there is my Dracaena bicolor and my special little rescue Easter cactus that was just about dead when I bought it. Guess what? It's still alive. I am that good. That is the first one I haven't killed, so we're still working on that. Um, here is a mixed batch in my propagation station of just random philodendron leaves. Um, there's a little bit of everything in the, or, uh, pothos, I'm sorry. Random pothos leaves. Here are the, here's a glass of the Monster Adamsonii. These were all off that $16 plant that I got. This is what I have taken off it to propagate. And then the giant wandering Jew that I had got out of control uh, per what wandering Jew does. So I'm starting it over. I'm just going to propagate these up and start a new hanging basket. And it should be beautiful by the time the spring comes around. I'm moving on over to the other side of my kitchen. This is what she looks like. So we got some newbies and some senior citizens over here. Here is my jade plant, which very doing very nice. Here's a rabbit's foot fern that used to sit on top up on my um, bathroom sink, but it got too large, obviously, because uh, this should be in an eight-inch pot. It was in a coffee cup when I put it up there um, in like June. So this thing grows really incredibly fast. But it did very well, except you can tell where it was facing the handle to the kit to the bathroom sink because there is nothing growing there anymore. It's not nice and full like the rest of the plant because it kept getting broken off. Oh, hey, I also made this macrame hanger uh, to hang it in. Uh... Backing up, we have my Alocasia Lowrider. It is doing very, very, very well. It opened up a new leaf not too incredibly long ago. It's still pretty tender. Um, this has gotten dumped a couple of times, but this thing is doing absolutely wonderful. What I would like to do with it, though, is put it in a very, very, very heavy pot because this thing is very heavy. Moving behind the low rider is my Hoya rope, which was two pieces, which is now four pieces. All right, so that's my Hoya rope. It's doing very good. It, it really likes uh, west facing window, I guess. My Norfolk Island pine, which was super tiny when I got it, and it's doing very, very, very well. Uh, mind you, I got this in July, so I should have waited <laughs> for this month because I could buy a gigantic Norfolk pine for exactly what I paid for this. Here is my, is it a philodendron or a pothos? Pearls and jade pothos. Um, doing well. It, I don't know. This one doesn't seem to be a very fast grower, but it's here and it's pretty. It looks good. Here's my strawberries and cream. Um, it's escaping me, rubber plant. Hoya does all right. Um, I'm trying out a different sort of sun. It just doesn't seem to be doing anything in the east, so we're gonna switch it to the other side of the house instead. And then uh, the last but not least plant is this bad boy. Um, this was a plant my mother had sitting in her window. And uh, she said she didn't want it anymore. It's a little bit of oxalis and a bunch of um, variegated vinca vine, which it grows all the way down to the floor. Um, I just have to keep cutting that. I've cut that last piece off a couple of times, like when I brought it home. Uh, eventually, the other ones will catch up. See, it's growing on the floor again. Don't worry, the cats will take care of that. Um, it does very well. Uh, the it was in pretty sad shape. 
the dogs laid on it and kind of crushed it up a little bit. It was a lot longer before I had to bring it home. So, can you say hi, Wheelie? Wilbur. Hey. See, he listens like a boy. Hi, are you a good boy? Are you a good boy? See, isn't he handsome? That's my baby. That's my baby. Um, in case anybody is wondering, he is a mutt. Um, is a cattle dog and border collie cross. So he is a hybrid. Um, he's a he's a pretty good boy. You can see a lot of cattle dog in him. There's a lot of border collie too. He's a pretty good dog. He's pretty smart for the most part. What do you think, Banks? Oh. And everybody say hi to Princess before I go. See, she's still here. The old lady's still here. Still alive. Still kicking. Still incredibly pretty. Yes, dear princess. Yes. Oh, I know. So I hope you guys enjoyed the tour. And thank you. Uh, stay tuned for the next video. Um, happy planting.